Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your March read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using uh, the Tarot of Dreams. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Leos? What message do we have for Leos? For March 2024. Let me see coming in for Leo. Leo's so the first thing that I see Leo's I feel like this is I feel like there's someone that's been on your mind you know I, I I feel like with this person I feel like you may already have a friendship with this person an association of some sort with this person you know for some of you it could be someone you work with or or someone you go to school with but I definitely feel there is a connection that you have with this person. I feel like you do see this person fairly regularly. Um, and I feel like you think about them. You know, and I feel like it's something that... It's gone beyond a crush. You know, I, I feel like there's so much about this person that you enjoy. Um, you know, very curious about this person. Almost... To the point, like I said, I, I feel like it's like a, almost fantasizing about a future with this person. Uh, fantasizing about being with this person. You know, and, and seeing a lot of true potential in this person. Because I feel like with this person, they have a really good energy. You know, I, I, honestly, I feel like there was a little bit... It started out more of a physical connection with this person. But the more you really paid attention, uh, the more uh, you kept an eye on this person the more you started realizing this is definitely something more. You know, they're easy on the eyes and hard on the heart, like that song goes. And I feel like it got to a point where you realize not only do you not see yourself walking away, but I, I feel like it's hard to walk away. You know, I feel like you have some really strong feelings for this person. Feeling like this person may be the one. But then we... I feel like there's a little bit of overthinking going on. Because I feel like you're not really seeing their side of this. Um, really not knowing what they want. You know, because I feel like it hasn't really moved anywhere. It hasn't really... There, you know... Yeah, I see some little bit of flirtatious energy here and there, but it's never really been enough to really let you know how they've been feeling. You know, there's because there's definitely some physical chemistry between the two of you, and I feel like sometimes it may feel like that's all it is. So uh, that's where the overthinking comes in, thinking that maybe that's all the only way they see you. And I, I feel like there is a little bit of fear of 
taking that next step, fear of, you know, rejection or getting hurt, um, feel like putting yourself out there and not getting the response that you, you thought you would get or you hoped you would get. So it's almost like you're just kind of keeping it to yourself. Now with this person, I feel like you're going to be really surprised here. I feel like, I, f I almost know you're going to be surprised. Um, with this person, there's a lot of internal struggle. You know, this person wants to reach out and grab you and hold on to you and not let you go. You know, I, I, I feel like with this person, what you're feeling may not even compare to what they're feeling. You know, I, I feel like this person kind of puts you on a pedestal feeling like you may be out of their league. Um, but that doesn't stop them from wanting you. I mean, they, you fantasizing about them, they're fantasizing about you. You know, they're thinking about you and only you. You know, those chance meetings that you have, the chance times that you see this person, uh, those side glances, that's not just them looking at you on the outside. That's them you know, kind of fantasizing about you on the inside. That's them thinking about you and possible scenarios moving forward. Um, they have a lot to say. They have a lot that they want to say to you. I just feel like, like I said, I feel like they feel a little bit intimidated by you, uh, feeling you may be out of their league. You know, I mean, I, I, I do see this person I mean, they definitely feel the same way as you do. They know what they want. And, and, and all those things that you feel, that potential you feel, the fantasizing, they're, they're having all that. You know, both of you want the same thing here. It's just like I said, I, I feel like you're not quite what they're used to. You know, I, I feel like they feel like they're... They, you're on that next level and they're not there yet. Um, again, we have that flirtatious energy back and forth, but um, it's almost like it, it, sometimes we get it mixed up with thinking that the person just has a flirty personality, not, mean, not meaning anything by it. You know, there's... I mean, this person, like you've planned a future with this person, they've planned a future with you. I mean, they want this. Uh, this person knows what they want with that two, two of wands. You know, they're emotionally, um, they're emotionally mature. I mean, they're ready for that next step and you're the person they want to take that next step with. But like I said, I feel like, again, we go back to, I feel like they're overthinking. You know, I feel like they're afraid to step up and tell you how they feel because they're afraid that um, how they see you is how it is. You know, they see you as someone that's out of their league. They see you as someone that maybe not that interested. I feel like there's two people here being very quiet when it comes to how they feel. You know, the energy is something that we need to listen to. And I feel like neither one of you are really listening to it. You know, there's a lot of energy going on between you and it's so much more than just a physical thing. You know, we have new love, but we also have uh, the lover's card as well. I mean, like I said, this person just wants to reach out and grab you and hold on. And if they knew you'd let them, they would have already done it. Uh, very protective energy you know I feel like this person is very defensive of you with other people you know I feel like they they really take a they they have your back you know really defending you behind your back like if anybody were to say anything about you this person would be the first one to shut that shit down you know um, also I feel like they you know anytime there has been anybody around you I feel like they get very, almost like a jealousy, but 
a very quiet jealousy, you know, because there's nothing they can really say. You're not, you're not with them. Um, I just feel like they, they really don't like other people being around you. And I feel like that's going to get to the point where that's what's going to cause the next step to happen. You know, I feel like this person's finally going to open up to you. And we're going to have that conversation that much overdue. Because I feel like this has been going on for a while. You know, we have this chemistry that keeps going. It's undeniable. And we can deny it all we want. But like I said, it's undeniable. It's one of those things that the the more we try to push it down or try to hide it, the more it becomes apparent. You know, so I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. And I feel like they're going to open up. And I feel like it's going to be very direct. You know, it's... uh. It kind of, I keep getting that picture of that movie where this guy wanted this girl so bad and then the first kiss, like, they banged teeth together because he was so, you know, he, he was so, um, you know, he'd, he'd been waiting so long and he just, he went after it. And it was it was funny, but it's, it's the type of feeling I get here. It's like this person just wanted to be with you. You know, this person wants to be that person that you trust in. You know, they want to build something with you. And I mean, they may not feel like they're worthy of you, but they're sure as hell going to try their hardest to be. You know, I, they, they want to build that foundation. You know, and I feel like together, there's a strong, strong energy between the two of you. Um, the two of you coming together making making something that other people will be jealous of. You know, they don't want to be jealous anymore. They want other people to be jealous of, of you. Um, and not that they want that. I just mean, like, they don't want to be the one jealous. They don't want to be the one on the outside looking in. They don't want someone to come along and see you the way they see you and, and step up before they step up. You know, for one, they don't think anybody can be as good to you as they want to be or as they could be. And for two, you're all they really want. Like I said, I mean, it, it's just how they, how you feel about them times that by two. Because that's how I really feel like this is going. You know, like I said, very protective over you, very defensive over you. Um, this is someone that will always have your back. Uh, someone that, that appreciates you. And... A lot of people say it's not healthy to put your, your partner on a pedestal. I disagree to a point. I feel like having respect and admiring your partner, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, thinking they may be a little bit out of your league, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's... It's for whatever works for you. And anything can work in any situation as long as it, it works for you. Um, but like I said, I mean, you already make each other happy apart. So imagine what you're going to do together. You know, I see them cups being filled up. You know, like I said, I feel like you inspire each other. You know, and I, and I feel like it's, it's this huge elephant that keeps growing in the room. And it's almost suffocating. You know, you know how hard it is to be for them to be around you and not tell you how they feel, not tell you what they want, not make that advance, not make you that offer. They've been holding that all back, and it's and it's and it's about to boil over. So, like I said, it may it may come off really blunt when they say it because they've been waiting a long time to say it. You know, like I said, I mean. When we like like we're talking with the lovers card, it's that like iceberg uh, love that I like to refer to. Um, you know, it's knowing what you want and having an arm's reach and and, and not reaching out for it. Um, when the world or the universe gives you something like this and puts it right in front of you, it's a sin if you don't reach out and grab it. You know that lover's card is that like I said with that iceberg love. 
Um, you both see something there. You both know there's something there. And until we get closer, we're not gonna see the true potential of this. And there is a lot of potential. Like I said, I, I, I feel like your, your curiosities have got the best of you. You know, that communication that is coming, I feel like it's gonna answer a lot of questions. Even though they know it's gonna come off a little bit, you know, a little bit quick, you know, once they come to you and, and say what they wanna say, and like I said, it is gonna be very blunt, but what you've been waiting for, it's coming and it's better than you thought it was gonna be. You know, the, the potential you saw in this, the, the curiosity you had in this person, you know, you weren't wrong. And I don't feel like you know how right you were, but you will. You know, once they come towards you and tell you how they feel, uh, once they take the leap of faith, they're all in. You know, it's, uh, it took some time, but once they come towards you, they're all in. And we, we, we begin that new journey together and like I said you make each other stronger you inspire each other you're there for each other uh, very loyal connection I feel like you're gonna have very passionate very loyal very intimate you know you think you're attracted to them now wait because once this goes deep that attraction just increases. You know, it's, a lot of people say like, when you're attracted to somebody physically, what a lot of people don't get <clears throat> is, it's not all physical. You know, when you're attracted to someone to this point, it's not just physical. It may feel like that way because you don't really know them internally that well yet, but our energies know each other. Our energies draw each other, it draw each other, draw us to each other more than a physical connection does. You know, sometimes we feel like it's just physical, but there's definitely some underlining energy that's going on between you that is much, much, much deeper than that. You know, all the reasons why you haven't stepped up yet is, like I said, time's up by two. But once we're able to open up to each other, um, you know, you're going to see the true potential here. There's a lot of happiness for the two of you moving forward. You know, like I said, it's not just a physical connection here. That may have been what caught your eye, but it's not what caught your heart. It's not what caught theirs. You know, and, and I mean, it's, it's much deeper. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. With this person, we have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini, we have Libra. We have some Pisces and some Cancer. Um, what I was going to say, now that it's story time, is when we have a connection with someone, you know, when you see someone and you're connected to them, you know, have you ever had that person, which I most, I most certainly, I feel like most people have, that person that you were really attracted to, that maybe your friends didn't understand, or maybe other people in your life didn't understand, they're like, I don't see it, why are you so attracted to this person? It's not the physical that attracts you. It's something in their energy. You know, it's, that's why when you ask someone, who do you think is the most attractive person that you know? Most of the time, if they're being honest, most of the time it's gonna be something different than everybody else. You know, who you're attracted to is different than someone else because it's not the physical. 
That's part of it, a very small part. It's the energy. You know, it's, um, you can shake a hand with a, you can shake hands with a million people. There's gonna be one that really, you know, a blind test. I'd like to do that sometime, like a like social experiment. You know, you can't see anything with the person but their hand. And you take their hand and shake it or you hold their hand for a second. And I feel like there's gonna be someone that sticks out. Now that's not physical. It's a physical interaction, but you know, it's when you, you could kiss a hundred people and that there's that one that you'll always remember. It's not the physical, it's a physical interaction, but you know, like my partner, she, when I kiss her, it's different than I've ever kissed anybody else. It's deeper. You know, when we touch hands, it's it's deeper. It's a connection. It's our energies meeting. And yes, I'm not saying that you sh that it's not a physical attraction you have toward the person. I'm just saying you can be. I mean, there's a hundred people you can be physically attracted to, probably just in your town. Unless you live in a big city, then it could be a bigger number. Um, but there's certain people that catch your eye. You know, if you get put in a room, say you pick out a thousand people that you find physically attractive and you put them in a room. There's going to be one that stands out. And it's just something that I always thought about for a long time because I, I feel like I always was very interested in energies and what draws our energy to certain people and not to other people. Um... You know, there was, I feel like the first time I thought about it was in high school. There was these two girls, they were twins. I was always attracted to one of them. They were identical. I always knew them apart. There was always one, um, Amy and Amanda. And Amy was always different. You know, there was just something different about her and they're twins. Physically, they looked exactly the same. They even dressed similar. They probably shared clothes, I imagine they would same body type but there's one that I was always you know I was always drawn to her um, you know we dated for a little bit but it never worked out we were, we were different people and we wanted different things but it always from that moment I feel like that's the first time I really thought about it like how can I be attracted to one twin and not the other and then I realized it's not about the physical so much more than that you know and, and and energy doesn't even have to be a touch you know I feel like you can feel somebody's energy from across the damn room you know to be honest with you especially the stronger the energy the, the longer the distance you can feel it it's very interesting to me I mean obviously like I said I mean Obviously, there's got to be a physical attraction that catches your eye. Or really, I mean, it, it is, I hate to say that because it really doesn't, you know, I've met people that I wasn't necessarily physically attracted to. Like, they were, you know, they were all right. Um, but in a conversation, my opinion had changed. Being around them, my, my opinion can change. And it has. You know, uh, one, of the, one of the better looking girls in our school... She was a good looking girl. But the first conversation I had with her, I, I had no no interest whatsoever. And it wasn't that she was a bad person, it's just I didn't like the way she talked to people. You know, and I and I feel like that's very important when you're when you're meeting someone. Um, don't look at how they treat you or someone they want something from. Look how they treat someone that they don't need anything from or don't want anything from. Uh, my mom was a waitress for years, and she always told me that. She said, you always know the good people by how they treat people that they don't need need or want anything from. You know, how you treat people that serve you food. How you treat people that, you know, take care of your house or take care of your, your lawn work. Be, very close attention to that. Because if somebody wants something from you, they can act a certain way. 
when they don't want anything from you or don't need anything from you, that's how they really are. That's who they really are. And I, and I believe that to an extent. I, I've always, like, I took a girl on a date um, years ago. We went to a restaurant and we ordered food. And they messed up her order. And I remember she was, like, really vocal about it. And I was just thinking, how unattractive is this? Like, you could have just said, you know, you messed up my order. You know, they even offered to replace it. And she's like, no, i got to wait 30 more minutes or for the food to get here. She goes, blah, blah, blah. And, like, it was just a really aggressive thing. And now, now that I look back, maybe she was having a bad day. I don't know. But still, you shouldn't treat people like that. I don't treat people like that. You know, I respect everybody until they disrespect me. And then I just don't deal with them anymore. I don't disrespect them. You know, if somebody's rude to me, I got no time for that in my life. But anyway, I got, I cut off topic. I'm just saying. Um, when it comes to you and this person, sometimes, and I've talked about this before, with me, I'm kind of a flirty person, and I don't mean to be, and I don't mean anything by it, but if I find, you know, if I if I like someone, I, I, I find it easy to flirt with them. When I really care about someone, I find it impossible. You know, sometimes the hardest person to to um, approach is the person that you really want. You know, the, the brain and heart work together in a very mysterious way. Um, for instance, like with my partner, Rose, uh, when I first met her, she came on to me. She got sick of me waiting for me to come on to her. I really wanted to, but I overthink this. Sh I over. I was gonna say overthink. <laughs> I wish that could be a word because then I wouldn't look so stupid when I said it. But uh, I, I, I used to overthink it a lot, and I feel like when there's something on the line, it's like betting a dollar compared to betting a thousand dollars betting a dollar like who cares right same as people that you like but you're not really that interested in you just find them attractive or whatever it's easy to go up to them take your shot because if you if you miss or if you get shot down oh well you know i wasn't that invested but when it's someone that you really want taking that shot can be the hardest thing Because there's so many things that can go wrong. You can make a bad impression. You can screw it up. And if you screw it up, you lost something that you know was special. Anyway, I feel like I'm not making any damn sense anymore. Um, be good. Take care. Stay safe.